During the 19th century, the Ottomans received assistance from the French and the British in the form of farm produce, military advice, and modernization programs. These alliances were prominent when the Ottomans joined the French, British, and their allies during the Crimean War against Imperial Russia in 1854, which is historically considered by many to have been the first modern war. The Ottomans participated as an ally of the British and the French, but this was not without a heavy cost to the Ottomans who financed their army by taking interest-bearing loans from their French and British allies. The Ottomans' financial liability assumed during the Crimean War would heavily cripple its economy for several years to come and subdued them to French and British governance as a result. Soon after the Crimean War was over, the alliance between the Ottomans and the Western Europeans weakened, leaving the Ottoman Empire without friend or support in Europe. Moreover, the crippling debts continued to incapacitate the Ottoman economy heavily. Sometime thereafter, the Germans befriended the Ottomans. Kaiser Wilhelm II and his always East policy extended an arm of friendship towards the Ottoman Sultan, who was considered to be the Muslim world's most powerful leader in what could potentially become a very powerful ally against the enemies of Germany. Kaiser Wilhelm visited Istanbul in 1898. This momentous occasion would be commemorated by the construction of a German fountain in the old Byzantine Hippodrome. The friendship between the Ottoman Sultan and the Kaiser flourished and he came to be known as Haji Kaiser, following rumors that he had made pilgrimage to Mecca and embraced the religion of Islam. By 1903, the cooperative relationship between the Caliph and the Kaiser was further developed and the Germans were awarded a concession to build a railway line connecting Berlin to Baghdad. This monumental construction was poised to become one of the greatest engineering feats of the 20th century. Its western segment, the Orient Express, would become world famous. Passengers could board in Munich and alight in Istanbul. In return for the favorable Ottoman reception, the Germans would provide weapons and military training for the Ottoman army. Later on in history, during the Balkan campaigns of 1912 and 1913, Ottoman soldiers were armed with Mauser rifles that were provided by the German allies. <laughs>